their leaders, fellow Europeans, their EPP family. Russian full-scale aggression war against Ukraine continues for third. Aggression itself for 11th year. What did West wrong that it didn't succeed to avoid the war? What haven't not we done to get Ukraine superiority and get a victory? Yes, we can't change the past, but we can make difference today. New Western paradigm against dictator Putin is needed. A plan for Ukrainian victory and Russian loss. Europe has been capable in recent decades to mobilize its effort to overcome financial crisis and COVID. And we need immediately similar pan-European action to finance Ukrainian military. 1% of our gross GDP to that effort is a scale that makes game-changing difference. We should work it out by similar, like ESM model, combining it with pan-European agreement consisting of all member states' annual pledges. If we admit there is tectonical crisis, our response should be symmetrical. If earlier means didn't work, we need to ramp up. Russian frozen assets should be used to finance Ukrainian victory and end of genocidal war. What are we still waiting in this matter? In coming weeks, there will be farce elections of Putin. Western community should not recognize the outcome of these rigged elections as did we do in Lukashenko case. We should never, whatever future brings ahead, turn to interaction with Putin as president of Russia. We have to upgrade sanctions immediately. Russia still continues globally profit from raw materials business. Now on defense of our union, we need to ramp up defense industry and our militaries. 3% of national defense costs should be basis to European Union member states as a perspective. Times after Cold War of sleeping eyes wide shut are just over and will never return whoever is in White House in coming years. We need to deliver in security and economy. How to keep us in global business contest? First, we need to cut drastically bureaucratic burden to entrepreneurs. Secondly, European energy prices are uncompetitive. This is a key problem. New energy power, including controllables, should come to market in technology-neutral manner. And thirdly, it's sure that Green Deal can't be delivered in a manner which deindustrializes Europe. It will not work out as planned economy exercise, as see it socialists and Greens. Peoples of Europe are expecting certainty. Realities are war and living cost crisis. There are hard times ahead we need to overcome. Common sense and decisiveness are needed. And we, as EPP family, need to deliver to Europe. And we will. Thank you.